I would say that definitely our values align with crypto in the sense where we believe in privacy, we believe in freedom, we believe in being able to transfer not only yourself but also your wealth all over the world where you're treated best, as Garod said. And I think crypto really emanates those values and echoes those values. And that's why, you know, about 35% of our clientele at this point is at least crypto exposed. So I would say that's why we're here and that's why we align perfectly well. Yeah, and I think ultimately for crypto, there's a lot of newer money. People are making a lot of money and some of the traditional protection and asset diversification strategies you'd see in other industries haven't been implemented yet. And for us, back to what we believe in, we should look at those things and we should plan better and make sure that you get what you want to get out of this. So I, I know what Nomad Capitalist does, but can you explain to the audience uh, what your role is and what exactly you guys do? Basically, in one word, I would say freedom. We enhance people's freedoms individually and at the corporate level as well by helping them on the immigration front, on the global banking front, and on the global tax planning front. I would say that is the best summary I can provide. Yeah, I think ultimately we believe in planning, right? So we believe in going where you're treated best, which is our slogan, and putting the right foundations in place for you to springboard off and have the lifestyle that you want and pay the taxes that are fair to you. Go where you're treated best. Go where you're... Go where you'd like to go, basically. Yeah, yeah. Are you finding that a lot of people maybe in the West have, have realized that, you know, I've made all this money, but maybe I don't have access to it, or maybe the tax structure is, is as such that I'm not really benefiting from the fruits of my labor, right? Definitely. I think when you see newer wealth, you often, as Garod said, see a lack of strategy. So it's a great thing that the wealth was accumulated, but there's often oversight when it comes to asset protection, when it comes to tax optimization. And in many cases in the West, people tend to overlook the fact that the West might be great for certain things, mm -hmm. but there are great options that are beyond your borders, right? So Latin America, Southeast Asia, even Africa might be right for the right kind of person. Uh, also within the West, there are countries that offer things that others don't. For example, we're you know very known for uh, telling people that Western Europe might be more tax friendly than you might be led to believe. What else are the main sticking points for, for crypto investors? Why are they rushing to your services? Is it to have that access to a more global marketplace? You know, the ability to take my treasure wall anywhere I want to go, take my wealth anywhere I want to go. Is that the main motivation or are there any other pain points that you see from your 35% now who are crypto exposed? I would say caution about the future. I think that Nomad Capitalist for many people acts like an insurance policy, right? So right now, they might have something that is working to an extent, but they are worried about what may happen five years from now. For example, this year we have elections in the US. We've just had an election in France. We've just had an election in the UK. Politics has an impact and many people are starting to realize that they don't necessarily have to be there when certain policies that they may not agree with are enacted. And that's why they come to us and they say, well, maybe I'm not ready to go now, but I want to have the option for either me, my money, or my business, or all three together to relocate to a place where we feel we're treated best. I think another big one is lifestyle. Like people are starting to look further into the future and further beyond their borders and saying, okay, I might want to live a different way. I have more freedom. They're not tied to a specific place to make their money. If you're an all-in crypto investor, you can pretty much go wherever you like. And I, my boss said to me a very long time ago, Mr. Henderson, he was like, there's 216 countries available to you and you think you were born in the one for you. It's time to go and see. And I think a lot of people now are interested in the lifestyle we live, the countries that we go to, which are slightly different to what you'd see traditionally advertised. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm assuming that a lot of your clients are probably Western-based clients, and they're probably diversifying into parts of Latin America, Eastern Europe, maybe parts of Asia. Um, can you kind of just, just tell me maybe a typical profile of your typical crypto investor? We, well, we deal with clients from all over the world, and part of that is because we have a staff that is also based all over the world and multilingual. But in the case of the North American client, I would divide them into two major categories. The Plan B clients, maybe if you're watching, you're in Montreal, you're in New York, you're in Miami, and you're thinking, maybe I'm not ready to go now, but I want to go in the future. You're a kind of client and we'll set up some structures for you. We'll look at asset protection. We'll look at optimization without necessarily you relocating anywhere right away. And then we have the clients who want to take their wealth and enjoy it and explore the world. Maybe they want to explore new dating scenes, new cuisines, uh, lower cost of living, you know, affordable luxuries in other countries. And that would be the other profile. People who just want to explore, maybe keep their passport or maybe, you know, renounce citizenship. Well, it's a really long questionnaire you got to fill out for Nomad Capitalists because they really got to get to know you. But, uh, you know, great service. I think it really aligns with the values of Bitcoin. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank you very much Appreciate for having us. Appreciate pleasure. it. Awesome.